close your eyes. Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. And if that feels good, keep on breathing long. If it doesn't feel good, you can change the rhythm, change the speed, change the depth. Find what way of breathing feels really good for the body right now. Let the mind drink in the pleasure of the breathing. This breathing, of course, is a major source of nourishment for the body. Without the breath, we'd be dead. We'd have no strength at all. So breathe in a way that feels really good. Because you're going to have to be exercising some restraint over your mind, and the best way to exercise restraint is to give rewards. So the mind doesn't get fastened on the things that it's not thinking about or not supposed to think about. Usually you tell a child, don't think about this, and that's the first thing they'll think about. And if you tell them again not to think about it, then they start feeling confined. Well, the mind is the same way. There are a lot of unskillful things it could be thinking about. Many of its old habits are going to pull it off into those directions. And so you've got to learn how to say no. But the best way to say no effectively is to offer a reward and replace. Like, this is something better. You're trading candy for gold. Those moods you may have that you ordinarily like, they're like candy. They're, they taste good, but they may not necessarily be good for you. But when you've got gold, okay, you can use gold to buy all kinds of things. Same way with the mind. Once the mind is really trained, you can do all kinds of good things with a mind that's been trained. Find happiness that's a lot more worthwhile than just a lot of candy. So in the meantime, we give it this little bit of food. And it's really good food. It's not candy. It's nourishing food for you. And as the mind gets well fed with this kind of food, then the idea of going back and eating candy again doesn't really appeal to it. So make sure the breath is comfortable. Make sure that sense of comfort is something you can learn how to maintain. Even as you open your eyes and get up and leave the meditation, it should still be there. Try to protect it as you go through the day. That way whatever comes into your mind is not going to start coming out your mouth and out your actions. In other words, you'll have some restraint. You'll be able to say no to these things because you are saying yes to the good side of the mind and rewarding it right away. <laughs>